The 2011 Portnet Valley Environmental Fair kicks off tomorrow. We're very excited to have uh, two lovely ladies with us this morning, Bonnie and Martha. We appreciate you waking up you. and uh, telling us a little bit about this exciting event. It goes on every year, and people will want to make their way out tomorrow because some new things are happening this year that haven't happened in years past. But uh, we appreciate it. Bonnie, first of all, what, what's going to be new this year that people want to get excited about? Well, this year we are sponsoring a recycled sculpture contest, and we're asking people to... Uh, create a sculpture at home and bring uh, this sculpture for display at the fair. Uh, it's a competition and we're giving out $50 awards. You need to use recycled materials and they'll be b judged based on creativity and the number of recycled materials you've used. So, so basically anything, those, those old sayings of trash to treasure are really, uh, really applicable here. Is that right, Martha? Yeah, absolutely. I love this new idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about some of the other vendors and booths that will be there because this is something that incorporates the entire community and a lot of people get on board and, and help with this. Oh my gosh, lots of kids' activities. Um, one thing I want, oh, live music, food, all of that. Um, and businesses, organizations from all over town, I know that um, the uh, Pocatello Co-op will be there talking about uh, how important it is to support local and sustainable agriculture. Um, I'm the dean of the Pocatello Community Charter School and we have been participating in this event for years. But this year, the middle school students at my school have been involved in this long-range study on alternative energy. And they got to participate in something that the Idaho Power, um, that Idaho Power does, a program where they, they get the knowledge and tools to do an energy audit of the school. Okay. So last night at our governing board meeting, they actually presented the findings and the recommendations from their audit. And it, it was awesome because it was real authentic work. I mean, these kids, it wasn't just, oh, you know, isn't it cute that the kids <laughs> have learned some things about electricity. They actually presented information that our, our board of decision makers and leaders from the school really need to know to, to conserve energy and also to, uh, to save us money. They talked about the little fountain in my my office and what a waste of electricity that is because it doesn't you know serve any specific purpose um, they talked about you know um, how important it is to de-lamp some of the fluorescent lights in the building how important it is to, to have um, uh, to turn things off when you leave the building and to keep things off during the summer and, and all kinds of great recommendations to save us money and to um, Safe power. And all these mm -hmm. recommendations are going to be at the environmental fair tomorrow. People can come, get yeah. some more information about mm -hmm. how to apply these to their own homes. And there, yes, absolutely. And that was the, the real point of the, of, the, uh, of the energy audit is so they can make these recommendations to the school, but they can also take these things that they've learned and talk to their families about them. And so they'll be talking to people tomorrow about how they can apply these concepts to their businesses and their homes. Well, wonderful. Mm -hmm. and, and like we quickly mentioned earlier, uh, a lot of activities for children, families, yep. a lot of hands-on displays. Mm -hmm. things free stuff. Free stuff. And Everyone it's free admission, free. free admission, too. Mm -hmm. Free admission. Going on Optimus Park tomorrow uh, for Pocatello, Shelby Area. Anyone's welcome to come 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We appreciate you, Martha and Bonnie, Bonnie waking up with us this morning. Uh, <laughs> Randy, you. we'll send it back to you.